In this video, I am going to show you how I can solve this error with WordPress. There has been a critical error on this website. And there is a link below which says learn more about troubleshooting WordPress. So when I clicked on it like I did not get any email. Okay so it says that it has sent me an email or something, but I did not get any email. So and when this error occurs you can you also cannot access the back end of the website. See when I try to go to the back end it's the same case over here. So what are the possible reasons behind this issue? So the most common issues behind this issue issue is like incompatible themes or plugin. So when you don't log into your WordPress website for a long time, you don't update the WordPress versions of the plugin or the themes. They get outdated and their codes do not match with the current latest WordPress versions. So in that cases, it simply breaks the website just like this. So for that, what you need to do is you will need to, from your hosting, from your hosting platform, you will need to log into your cPanel. You will not need to log into your cPanel so that you can access the WordPress directories, like the WordPress folders and the files, plug files, etc. So after I logged into the cPanel, I'm going to scroll down and go to the file manager. And this C, this cPanel is from Namechip Hosting. So I will just click on this file manager. And just to let you know, this domain, tasvdomain.online, is my primary hosting. So when I go to the cPanel, the files for this WordPress directories will be in the public.html public HTML folder. So these are the WordPress directory files, and you can see that it is like it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So the main most of the in common cases it happens due to like incompatible plug insurance breaking the website. So I will just go to the plug insurance folder. So, so what I need to do, I need to deactivate all the plug insurance. So the best way to do this is rename the plug insurance folder. So to do that, firstly, I will go to the plug insurance folder. So to do that, you just go to WP content over here and enter it. And here is the plug in folder C. And what you need to do is rename it, rename it and write down something. Hold. Now when I refresh this page, you see it's working right now. It is. It's working right now, but it's showing an error that Elementary Pro and this plugin had been deactivated. Plugin files not found because I have renamed this folder. So what I need to do, I need to rename it again. So I will need to debug the issue. See, I will need to debug the issue to fix the site. So I will just refresh it. So you can see that all of the plug insurance right now deactivated. So I will just activate them one by one and see what's the issue. Firstly, I activate Elementor. Then I activate Elementary Pro and you see this. This Elementary Pro is the one which is which which is causing the issue. So I am giving an explanation for this. Elementary Pro is a premium plugin, so I act installed this plugin a long time ago, and I also activated the license. But for some reason, the license might have got like deattached with this plugin, and it did not get any updates, and that's why it got updated and broke the website. So I will just what I will do. I will need to deactivate all the plug insurance, otherwise I cannot access this. So I will just go over here and rename this again to pluginsurance.halt. So what I am going to do, I will need to let me refresh it. Then again, I go over here and rename it.
Okay then, I refresh it over here. Okay, so now I'm going to delete this elementary pro plugin. I will reinstall it later on the fresh version, the most updated version. So for now, I'll delete it. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to activate the plugins one at a time. So I find out if there is issue with any other plugins. So firstly, I will activate the free version of elementary. It is fine. Then I will activate this plugin. Then activate this plugin. Okay, hope there is okay if this one is fine too. Okay, okay, fine. Almost done. So let me see. Okay, so you can see that all of the plug insurance are fine, and this error was caused by only one plugin. Okay, so that is how we will need to debug and find out which plugin is causing this error. So I will need to refresh this, and when I visit the front end of the website now, it is perfectly fine.